For many, the new year brings with it a strong desire for improvement. New Year's resolutions are made, gyms fill up. It is a time of planning, forward thinking, and intention. For the tech community, however, a new year brings with it one of the most anticipated tech shows of the year. Our inboxes and news feeds are inundated with all the new toys, devices, and technologies companies are working on as we desperately try to sift through all and see what's exciting and new for us to spend our money on. From flying taxis to a handheld Jarvis that's a rabbit, I bring to you the 10 most exciting AI developments from CES 2024. Before I forget, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to get more AI-related news delivered straight to your inbox, please check out the link to our newsletter below. So. This is probably the headline announcement from CES 2024 so far. Tooted as the true next step for handheld devices such as phones, Rabbit is a handheld device that aims to achieve what the series Alexas and Cortanas have promised us for years. The ability to have a true assistant in your hand that you can speak to, understands you beyond basic commands and actually has the capacity to get things done. Everything from not only ordering a ride-sharing vehicle and specifying the number of passengers traveling, I have six people with three luggages. Find me an Uber that can fit all of us. For six people and three pieces of luggage, I recommend booking an Uber XL, as it provides ample space for all passengers and luggage. Please confirm the ride. The ride shows up, I just hit confirm. The Uber's on my way. To having it order your most ordered pizza with little input beyond confirmation. Ordering a 12-inch pizza from Pizza Hut. Since you mentioned that the most ordered option is fine, I will select that for you. It looks... Truly like something established phone makers will be desperately trying to incorporate into their new handsets. Rabbit could truly and finally kick off the next step in phone development with deep integration of AI and a new approach to mobile phone operating systems. Amazon had previously announced in September that it was opening up Alexa to large language model powered experiences, meaning you could develop large language model apps and integrate them into Alexa. At CES, they showcased several integrations from three popular platforms. Character AI, a popular chatbot app where you could previously create and chat with characters created by you and the community. The Alexa integration allows you to take that chat journey and give it a voice, giving it an entirely new layer of depth. Interestingly, Character AI was known for a long time as a not safe for work chat platform. Although that feature has been scaled back significantly in recent times, Possibly to allow it to have integrations like this, it will be interesting to see how the platform evolves. Remember, everything characters say is made up. What parts of the world do you want to explore? So I'm trying to surprise my wife uh, with a trip for her birthday. Uh, I think we want to go to Japan. Japan is a great country to visit. If you're looking for a romantic trip, I would suggest the city of Kyoto. It's got beautiful traditional style architecture, beautiful gardens and temples, and a rich history to explore. But Tokyo is more modern with bright lights, shopping centers, and an amazing food scene. So it really depends on what kind of experience you're looking for. The second integration from Amazon is for a platform called Splash that will allow you to create custom songs with your own voice using the Alexa command, Alexa open Splash. Now you have no excuse to create custom ballads for your significant other next time you have a fight or an anniversary coming up. In case you don't know, Splash is a music generation tool that you can use to create cool tunes like this, or like this. Add lyrics to, incredibly fun. Especially if you're into music, this could be your new addiction. I have an entirely separate video on this coming soon, but if you wanna check it out, there's a link in the description below. Now, with Alexa integration, you can use your own voice to create songs and lyrics and just work with the platform directly off of an Alexa screen. Alexa, open Splash Music. Welcome to Splash. Let's make some music. What type of song would you like to create? Create a funky Neo Soul track. Sit tight while I get your song ready. integration is from a company called Volley, who makes voice-powered games for TV platforms such as Song Quiz, The Price is Right, Jeopardy, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. While it was previously available on TVs, the Alexa version comes integrated with LLMs, allowing you to interact with your host. 
The only game available right now is 20 Questions, and we'll see if they bring more games to the platform. And finally, other news from Amazon is the announcement of a partnership with Siemens integrating Amazon Bedrock to Siemens low-code platform called Mendix. Amazon's Bedrock allows you to access several large language models using a single API and Siemens and Mendix. Or low-code development platform Mendix. Using low-code platforms such as Mendix, anyone can create computer code. No need to spend years learning a programming language. You just drag and drop the elements you need, but integrating AI functionality in your low-code programmed application has remained a challenge. Not anymore. It'll be interesting to see what we can do and what comes out of this partnership. A common theme in CES this year is automakers integrating AI into vehicles, making it easier for the AI revolution to take control of our lives. Amazon, along with BMW, is integrating large language models into their cars. Volkswagen is working with ChatGPT, and Samsung SmartThings and Bixby are going in with Hyundai. All of this in an attempt to bring voice-activated assistance to our cars, with LG even aiming to make the user manual redundant by having you ask all of your questions to its integrated AI model. Until now, NVIDIA has been the preferred hardware provider for running AI applications, particularly open source models on home computers. However, AMD has made some new hardware announcements with GPUs and CPUs specifically designed to handle AI applications, as well as a software suite released on their website specifically for AI development. On top of that, a partnership with Hugging Face to run models on AMD hardware brings a great deal of confidence and a breath of relief for many who are hoping to get their hands on AI-ready hardware. On the topic of AI hardware, NVIDIA released a few of their own, with the announcement of the 4000 Super Series, with the 4080 Super highlighting performance gains on using LLMs and Stable Diffusion XL on Windows. However, looking at the specs and considering that it's not getting a boost in memory beyond the same 16 gigs that the 4080 has, I think the performance gains may be minimal. In fact, the most interesting thing to be announced from NVIDIA regarding AI is their showcase of AI-powered NPCs running off of a combination of local hardware and cloud-based LLM inference, as well as the announcement of the availability of this technology through various tools. This was initially showcased a while ago, and it's exciting to see this capability coming to developers that they can start using right away. I can't wait to see what kind of games we get with this. The cool thing is, the conversation is different every time. Quirky is one word for it, Jin. I think we're just too real to be anything but flesh and blood. You're not wrong, Jin. Sometimes I wonder if we're all just part of some elaborate cybernetic dream. If we were AIs, I'd be the one cracking jokes about the singularity over a bowl of ramen. They also made some announcements about how they are integrating AI into robotics to streamline various industries such as manufacturing and logistics, bringing us closer to the AI apocalypse. The eternal Korean competitors, LG and Samsung, had similar AI announcements relating to and using AI to upscale is content a beast on the television. Of an AI screen. Both but also remind you to keep smart your assistant integrations into cars. And most interestingly, both also announced AI powered home assistants. Bali from Samsung and LG's not having a catchy name, referred to only as the LG Smart Home Agent. Both aim to bring assistance to the home offering the capacity to do various things around the house, interact with other smart appliances, and most importantly, allow you to interact with them using natural language. Samsung showcased Bali helping manage a variety of small errands around the home, including feeding the dog and turning off various appliances, and general home patrolling to make sure that everything is all right. We're not far off from a robot butler, it seems. Samsung's Bali also had a cool little feature that looked like a 360 infrared transmitter that should work with infrared operated devices that are not smart, allowing you to automate that old AC that you have in the living room. My big concern with this is that while it's incredibly cool, both companies have a habit of shoehorning users into their ecosystem of products and software, not all of which are well-maintained or designed. It will be interesting to see how well these assistants are supported and how open they will be to third-party integrations. On the topic of smart home improvements, another cool one from Samsung is their Family Hub fridge, which already had internal smart monitoring capabilities. 
Now, however, it goes a step further by monitoring what goes in and out of your fridge as well as expiry dates, giving it the opportunity to warn you when things are coming up for expiration. It will be interesting to see if any further large language models are integrated into this and see whether its capabilities are expanded through integrations with other smart appliances outside of Samsung's sphere, such as the Thermomix. Continuing with Samsung, they also announced AI integrations into their Galaxy PC line, including heavy integration with Microsoft Copilot on both their mobile and laptop devices, allowing Copilot to see more of what you're doing, access text messages, give summaries, and additional information to help you be more productive, including the ability to draft messages and easily pass that information from one device to another. Microsoft is also pushing a dedicated AI button on Windows-powered laptops. Although AI integration with cars has already been mentioned, I do want to separately address Harman's partnership with Samsung to bring safer driving to cars with drowsy driver monitoring. While in principle, this does sound great, seeing other safety features implemented in cars leaves much to be desired, with many of these often being more annoying than helpful. Try dealing with a seatbelt reminder that refuses to acknowledge that a seatbelt is on. Samsung also announced a slew of other smaller features under the guise of AI, but it's really just their existing services and tools getting a little better and a little smarter. If you're interested to learn more, I've linked an article below summarizing all the AI things that Samsung announced, as well as the other major brands. Now, before I forget, while not announced at CES, Samsung did also tease an AI phone prior to the show, and they will have a presentation on it on January 17th. So don't miss out on it. I hope you found this roundup helpful. If you want to stay up to date with the latest AI news, please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our newsletter in the other links below. What did you find most interesting from the recent AI announcements at CES? Stay tuned as we stay up to date on the latest AI announcements coming out of CES. Catch you guys in the next one.